Good morning, sweet ladies. Thank you for joining us in Far Above Rubies today. I'm so very glad that each of you are here. Today we are focused on Proverbs chapter 22, and we're going to talk about a good reputation. We're going to read just verse 1 today. I want to make sure that you're reading the whole passage because there's so much to take from each chapter in the book of Proverbs. Verse 1 says, Choose a good reputation over great riches. Being held in high esteem is better than silver or gold. What good is money? This is what I'm going to ask you. What good is money if no one is willing to associate with you or do business with you because of a terrible or tainted reputation? We have to protect our reputations with everything that we have. And we need to make sure that we are not um, compromising our reputations in order to gain status or wealth or uh, power, okay? It's far easier to trade on your good reputation when you find yourself in need than to never find yourself in need and not be able to repair a damaged and broken reputation, okay? So let's talk for a moment about what makes a good reputation. How do we build a good reputation? How do we repair a reputation that maybe has been damaged? We made some bad choices in the past, but we're working on it now. What makes a good reputation? Who do you spend time around? Who do you spend the most time around? This is a huge area that affects your reputation. Do you spend time around good quality people or do you spend time around those who have zero interest in having a good reputation? If people tell you, I don't care what people think of me, Mm, okay, there are times when that statement is appropriate. We don't need to be um, shaped by people's opinions, but we don't need to uh, spend too much time around those who say, hmm, forget them. I don't care. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to go and do this. I'm going to do that against the word of God. I'm going to delve into these areas that the word says are not okay. And I don't care what people think about that. Mm. We need to uh, spend the most time. We need to invest time in. We need to allow people to invest in us who are people of quality, who are people who have a heart after God, who are people that know the value of a good reputation and that we are only as good as that reputation at times, okay? <clears throat> Where are you spending your time at? Now that sounds like one of those things that people say, oh, I don't care what people think about me going here or going there or doing this or doing that. But we need to recognize that our reputation counts for something, okay? And so there are places that even though they may not be bad for us, can taint a good, healthy reputation. And we, we don't need to mess with those things, all right? Who or what do you regularly serve? We'll let that one hang there for a second. Who or what do you regularly serve? Do you lend your time to? Do you lend your attention to? Do you lend your money to? Do you lend your love and your affection to? Who or what do you regularly serve? Are you regularly serving your family? Are you regularly serving your friends? And I don't mean in servitude, I mean in a servant's heart, loving them and helping them and making their load a little lighter in this life? Are you regularly serving your church? Are you regularly serving the pastor and wife in your life, the people that God has placed in the spiritual care over your life? Who or what do you regularly serve? This is going to determine what kind of reputation you have, okay? Are you serving things that displease the heart of God? Are you serving people who have no heart for the heart of God? What or who do you regularly serve? What comes out of your mouth on a regular basis? Is it honest? Is it consistent? What comes out of your mouth on a regular basis will affect your reputation. If you are known for being a gossip, if you are known for being a slanderer, if you are known for persecuting those around you, for mocking those around you, ridiculing those around you, and that is what consistently comes out of your mouth. If little white lies consistently come out of your mouth, then it's going to affect your reputation. If peace and purity and kindness and love and consistency continually come out of your mouth, it's going to impact positively your reputation. Are you reliable? Are you dependable? Can people count on you? Are you true to your word? 
It'll affect your reputation. Are you faithful in the small things that are given you to tend to? Are you faithful in those little things, in cleaning the church, or in, in helping to decorate, in helping to th organize things, in helping to sign in children at children's church, or sing songs with kids, or teach a Bible study, or are you faithful in the small things given to your hands? It's going to affect your reputation. Are you kind to those who can do nothing for you? That seems like a small thing, but it's not. Are you kind? Are you kind, not just nice, not just polite, not just civil, not just basically friendly? Are you kind to those who can do nothing for you in return? Are you a slanderer or are you a defender? Now, we talked about slander already a moment ago, but are you a slanderer or are you a defender? Do you join in when the conversation turns to, I don't like them, I don't like her attitude, I don't like the way she dresses, I don't like the way she looked at me? Do you join in? Do you find something negative to say or are you a defender? Are you saying, you know what, I don't know them and I don't know their person. I don't know what their home life is right now. I don't know what they're struggling with. I don't know what they're fighting against. So... I'm going to leave them alone. I'm going to leave them in God's hands. I'm going to trust that they're doing the best that they know how to do. What comes out of your mouth? Who do you serve? What are you consistently doing? Where are you consistently going? These are the questions that you ask yourself when you're asking how to build a good reputation. A good, choose a good reputation over great riches. Being held in high esteem is better than silver or gold. Know the importance of a good reputation and work to build it, work to hang on to it, work to protect it. Go and read Proverbs chapter 22 and if no one has told you lately, you are loved and you are cherished and you are valuable. And no matter what your reputation was last week or last year or 10 years ago, your reputation is washed clean by the blood of Jesus and you get a fresh start each and every day. Work to build a good reputation. Work towards that. You have beautiful and tremendous worth, my friend, and that worth is far above rubies. Thank you for being here with me today and I will see you all again tomorrow. God bless you.